guys. This is video number three for our book this week, Daisy's Airplane Trip. Okay, I'm going to start out by reading it to you. This will be the third and final time. So at the end of this video, if you want to go on to AR and do an AR test on Daisy's Airplane Trip, I think all of you are probably ready. You've probably heard me read the story. We've worked on the We've talked about the story. We've worked on words in the story and taking words apart. And um, I think you guys will be ready for an AR test. Now, if you need help taking the AR test, reading the questions or the answers, it is fine to have someone help you. It really is. And, you know, like a lot of times, I will read the question to you and you'll either tell me the answer first before even looking at the answer. You'll tell me the answer or find it in the book, but you don't have the book. You could always rewatch one of the videos to hear the story again if you needed to. Uh, but I will either tell you, um, you tell me the answer and then I say find it on the screen. Or, you know, I let you scan and look for the answer and then help you if you need it. Anyway, you're welcome to do that if you want to. Um, so what, how this video is going to work is I'm going to read the story to you straight through. I'll be quiet, I promise. Uh, you know how I like to stop and talk. And then, it, and then we're going to write a sentence about our story using who, what, and why parts to write it. Now, for that part, if you want to write with me, it would be great, right? You just need a piece of paper and a pen or pencil or something, and we'll write together. And that would be, that would be an awesome, awesome thing, I think. So here's our story. Daisy's airplane trip. Make sure you're listening so you'll be ready for an AR test if you want. One day, Daisy saw a suitcase by the door. Are we all going on a trip, she asked. Daisy liked to visit new places. You are going on a trip with mom and dad, replied Bella. They are taking you on an airplane. Rosie, Jack, and I are going to stay home with a dog sitter. Why aren't you going on that on the trip? Daisy asked Bella. I don't like to go on trips. I get sick, said Bella. Daisy turned and looked at Rosie. Rosie, don't you want to go on the trip? She asked. You can go on the airplane with me. I am afraid of airplanes, said Rosie. I want to stay home with the dog sitter. Daisy turned and looked at Jack. Jack, don't you want to go on the airplane with me? Asked Daisy. What's an airplane? Asked Jack. It's a big bird that you ride on, Bella told Jack. Jack shivered and crawled under the couch. I don't want to fly on a big bird. I will stay at home, he said. Daisy got in the car with mom and dad. I think flying on a big bird will be fun, said Daisy. Goodbye, Daisy, said Bella. Goodbye, Daisy, said Rosie. Goodbye, said Jack. I'll miss you. <laughs> Mom, Dad, and Daisy drove to the airport. Daisy liked the airport. She looked around at all the people. Daisy could see planes outside the windows. She was very excited. Mom put Daisy in a special bag for dogs and carried her onto the airplane. Daisy had to stay in the bag under the seat. Daisy did not like the bag and she did not like staying under the seat. Dogs should be allowed to sit in the seat, she thought. This airplane ride is not fun. I want to go home. I want to stay with Bella, Rosie, and Jack. Daisy, Mom unzipped the bag and put it on the seat. Daisy peeked her head out of the bag and looked out the window. Look, I am flying on an airplane, she said. Whee! This big bird is fun. <laughs> All right, so let me ask you this. I haven't asked this before. What was it that Daisy did to get Mom's attention that, made, that led to Mom getting, uh, unzipping the bag and putting it in the seat? What did Daisy do to get mom's attention? Yeah, look, woof, woof, woof. 
she started barking. I bet mom was like, oh, that's right, you're under the seat. Here you go. All right, let's write. Okay, so remember, we're gonna we're gonna write with who, what, and why. We talk about, you know, we could write who and what and put a period at the end to be done with it. But we want to make our sentences more interesting. We want to give our readers more information, don't we? So we don't stop at who and what, do we? Nope. We add a third part, and that's why, right? Okay, so here we go. If you are writing with me, I'm going to turn this down here so you can see my board. If you are going to write with me, you need a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. Okay? So, let's write. Who was the main character of our story? I'll give you a hint. It's Daisy. That's right. Daisy's the main character. And so that is going to be my who. Now, I could write about all the other um dogs as well. We could write about Bella, we could write about Rosie, we could write about Jack, but the main character of our story is Daisy, and that's who I want to write about. So what do you hear at the beginning of Daisy? D, d, d. I hear a D. Now, tell me, it's the beginning of a sentence, and it is a character's name. So how should my D look? Does it need to be a capital D, or does it need to be a lowercase d? Capital D, here we go. D. Now let's stretch it out and see what we hear next. D. A. Oh, I hear an A saying its name. There's a silent I with it too. D. A's. What do you hear? I hear an S. Yeah. D. A's. E. Now, if you're writing with me, I hope you didn't work ahead. Like I tell you, don't work ahead of me because we're doing it together. Because this is tricky because it sounds like a what? It sounds like an E, days E, but it's not. It's a tricky, tricky Y. Yeah, and we've learned that a Y can make lots of different sounds, right? Daisy. Okay, so here's our who part, who. Now we're ready for our what part. Daisy was excited. Was excited. So let's write that word was. Now tell me, am I going to start right here, right beside my why? Nope. I'm going to leave a good space and write was. Ooh. Now, if you already know how to write was, that's cool. It's a good word to practice over and over and over again. You hear the w. Now, the next part sounds like an ah. It sounds like it should be an o, oh, but it's not. Yeah, I used to tell my first graders, in kindergarten, you learn that an a can, makes two sounds. It can say a, like in daisy. It can say a, ah, like in cat or apple. In first grade, you learn that A can also say ah, like in was, and water, and father. W, ahs. What do I need at the end? That's right. That's right. Now, I said that I wanted to write Daisy was excited. Okay? So, excited is a really, really tricky word. Okay? So, I'm going to do most of the work on it. But let's clap excited first. Excited. I hear three parts. Excited. So let's write the first part. X. Like elephant or egg. What do you hear? Good space. Don't forget your good space. Eh. Yep. Eh. One of my favorite sounds. Remember what it is? X. That's the first part of excited. Okay. 
the next part is tricky, right? Because it sounds like an S. X. Cited. It's not though. It's a C. Sometimes C can make an S sound, like in like in the word ice. Ice. Do you hear that? Or more than one mouse is mice, right? If the opposite or the antonym of mean is nice. So sometimes that C can be tricky and actually sound like an S. So that's what we need right here. X, I, oh, I hear the I saying its name, don't you? X, I, t, t, t. What do you hear? I hear a T. X, I, t, ed. And there's our ending. Ed. Excited. Good. Okay, so here's our who. Daisy. And here's our what. Was excited. Daisy was excited. Now here's the rest of the sentence. Here's our why part. All right, so Daisy was excited because she got to go on a trip. Okay, so Daisy was excited. Here comes our Y part, because. Let's clap it, because. What's the first part of that word, because? Be, and that's a little word that we know, I know that. It's like the word me, me, be. All right, what do we hear next? Be. It's a C. That's right. All right, let's listen. Ready? B. Aw. Hey, that's the sound we make when we see the little puppy on my board because he's so stinking cute. We look at him and we go, aw. Yeah, we need A U. Aw. All right, let's say it again and listen for what comes next. B K Oz. Yep, there's an S. Now it doesn't look right to me. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like we still need something else. I don't hear anything else. B K Oz. But it looks like it needs something on the end to make it look right. Do you remember what it is? Silent E. Yeah, because. All right. Now we did work, so let's go back and read it again. Daisy was excited because she. Now she should be a word that we know how to write because it's like the word the or the, me, be, we, he. We just got to remember what two letters go together to say shh. Do you remember? Shh. Yep. Shh. E. She. Do you see? Here's that word me that we know. Me. Here's the word be, right? That we wrote at the beginning of because. Here's the word he that you know. So to make do you see how they're all the same? They all end in this E part. Do you see that? All we're doing is changing the beginning. All right, back to work. So now let's go back and read it again. We got to do that after every word. Daisy was excited because she got. Got is a word that you should know. I'm going to write it. You can go ahead and write it, but listen for the sounds. G, ah, t. That should be a word that I think all of you know how to write by now. What do we do now? We go back and read it. Daisy was excited because she got to. Oh, that's a word we know. Write that word too. 
Here it is, just the one O. All right, let's go back and read it. Daisy was excited because she got to fly. Okay, fly. That sounds like a word. That sounds kind of like a word that I've heard before. It reminds me of this word. My. So let's use my and let's see if we can figure out how to write fly, okay? So remember, first things first, let's find the first part. Let's listen for the first part. Fla, fla, fla. What do you hear? Fl, fl. Do you hear that? Does that sound right? Okay. So here we have m, I. So here was is fl, I. What goes here? If it's like this word my, what do I need next? Yeah, I need a y. Fl, I fly. There's our word fly. I'm going to practice it again. Fl, I. Good. I'm going to practice it one more time. You remember how we practice on our practice page? Fly. All right. We're ready to add it to our story. I hope you guys are remembering that we've got to leave good space. Here we go. Fl, I. All right. Let's go back and read it again. Daisy was excited because. She got to, you know what? That wasn't my sentence, was it? But you know what? Okay, that's what we wrote. So let's figure out where we can go with it then. Because she got to fly. Let's do on a plane. How about that? Sometimes, sometimes we forget what we're writing anyway, even though we go back and read it again and again. But I think um, our, our sentence that we accidentally made is better than the one that I started with. So Daisy was excited because she got to fly on, on, that's a word you know, write that word on, on, check it and make sure you didn't write it backwards, two letter words are tricky, make sure you're starting with that ah, ah, ah part, Daisy was excited because she got to fly on, an, an, no, no, no. We're doing on a plane, not an airplane. Sorry about that, guys. On a. You know how to do a. Make sure it's not pointed in the wrong direction. Make sure your a's point in the right way. On a. Now we're going to figure out the word plane. Now, you know, in our class time, how we use boxes. So let's use boxes now, okay? And this part here is silent. That part is silent. Okay, so let's see. Plane. Plane. What do you hear first? P. Yep. Pl. Pl. All right, we're moving along. Let's listen. Pl. A. Oh, I hear an A saying its name. Pl. Ain. There it is. All right. And then this letter silent. That's an E, a silent E. Plane. Now, do I let you go straight from boxes to writing on the real deal? Nope. We got to practice it without boxes first. L Ain. Yep. All right. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to write it again without looking. Pl, there's my first part. A, I can hear that. Pl, A, N. Here's the tricky part, remembering there's an E on the end. Plane. Did I get it right? Did you get it right? Awesome. Let's flip it over and add it to our sentence. Try not to peek at your practice page. Here we go. Good space. Pl, A, N. Silent E. There it is. Now, Daisy was excited because she got to fly on a plane. 
what do we need at the end of our sentence? That's right, a period. There it is. So here's our who part, Daisy. Here's our what part, was excited. And why was she excited? Because she got to fly on a plane. So we have who, what, and why. All right, boys and girls. So if you are ready to go and take an AR test on Daisy's airplane trip, I'm giving you two thumbs up to do it now. Okay, so next week we're going to have a new book, and it's going to be a non-fiction book. That means we're going to learn facts about something. Okay, so I will see you then. Have a great week.